Finland, Sunday, September the 6th, 2009, 6 a.m. It's 13 degrees and day is breaking on the Olkiluoto site where Arriva is building the first EPR reactor. The rain and the wind have stopped and the weather is just right for the next key step in the construction of the world's first EPR, installing the dome on the reactor building. It's a great day for Arriva. In a sense, we're roofing the house. This stage bears witness to the merits of EPR technology and Arriva's ability to build it. And my being here is a way of thanking the 1,500 people who've worked day in, day out on this project for Arriva, for our customers and for the nuclear industry as a whole. A world first and an amazing technological feat. One of the most powerful cranes in the world was used to lift the 210-ton steel dome. The C4 crane, one of the biggest cranes in the civil works industry, is now in position. At this very moment, the dome is suspended above the fuel building, and in a few minutes it will be above the reactor. The tricky bit is getting over the polar crane, that big yellow thing you see above the reactor. This is the first time we've been up this high and it's a delicate operation because the dome axis has to be perfectly aligned with the polar crane axis before it can be lowered. 45 minutes later, the dome covers all the internal section of the reactor building. To seal it, the dome will be welded around its circumference and covered with 7,000 tons of concrete. 73% of the civil works is now complete and the work site is taking on a whole new dimension. As you can see, work is progressing really well. We're about to begin electrical assembly and ventilation work. The first tests will be run, notably on the polar crane which is right here beside us. This experience will serve for all the other reactors we're going to install worldwide. A unique work site. The Arriva Siemens Consortium employs more than 3,600 people from 60 different countries on the OL3 site. And on this Sunday morning, some of them turned out to witness this world first. For me, it's a, a real special day because I've been working for two and a half years for this moment, let me say. This has been a long time coming and we're all delighted and extremely proud to see the dome in place. A number of teams worked really hard to get the project this far. Heavy component manufacture and supply will continue through 2009. The installation of the OL3 dome marks a new milestone for Arriva, a source of pride for all of the group's employees and unrivaled experience on the third generation reactor market.